Okay, now we're going to go into the color theme generator, how you can utilize this application. Now it's really easy. I don't feel like this needs to be too detailed at all. Um, it's a really useful app if you want to create a consistent color theme in your reports, which is very, very important. Okay, so what we first have here is we have, well, we've got three apps currently, the color, and, and they're all set up in a similar way. And it's just a different way, slightly different ways that you can actually get themes, okay? So within here, what you can do is you can click through to different color sets within a, a simple fan here. And all of the details will automatically update. So I will just click through to a specific color um, grouping that I like. Um, what I can also do is I can change the amount of colors that I see as well. So say I want to see a bigger color set, I can do that very easily uh, and find a shade that I like. Okay, so maybe this, this shade here, okay? Then what I can do is I can then save all of my themes, okay? I can save them very, very easily. So I'm just gonna do that here. I'm gonna say, um, you know, light pink shades. I can write a description, but I'm not going to in this case, and I'm just gonna go save. Okay, so this document will save. It will automatically take you back to the, the document here, um, first of all. Now, what can I do here? How do I actually use these? And this is, the, this is gonna be the same for all of the different color theme apps, but you'll see here that we've made it super easy to go copy and then paste it into your Power, Power BI models, okay? So this is this is where you want to do it though. This is, you want to adjust your theme, okay? So if I come into view here in, in Power BI currently, you'll see that I've got all of these theme options. I can click this drop down theme, right? And then I can go customize current theme, okay? You, you want to stay away from updating individual colors. That to me is unnecessary. What you want to do is if you update the theme, it will all happen um, organically for you. So if I go customize current theme, I can come in um, to this particular area here and you'll see that all you need to do is copy the hex code right into this location for all of these different colors. And so the idea is that you come in here and say, go copy, copy this and then come into the theme uh, and go uh, like so. Maybe maybe the darker colors start start down the scent. So all, uh, literally, I'm just going Control C as I go along here, and then I come into this one here. I copy it, come back, and I just click on it. Go Control C. I can come into here, copy, so on and so forth. Okay, and once done, once done, all you need to do is go apply once all these are done. I mean, maybe maybe I'll just quickly show you how I would like get right to the end here. It doesn't take you too long. I just wouldn't, you know, I we currently, you know, at time of recording, you have to use a JSON. And if you want to update it all at once, you got to create a JSON file. It's just, just complicated. But, you know, this way is super simple. It takes you less than a minute um, to get a consistent color theme, right? Um, all I'm doing is control C after I copy from here. Got one more to go. Last one here. I don't even, uh, you can change this as well, but I, I won't in this particular case. And so now that I have that theme, I mean, this is gonna change the look and feel of all this is all gonna change because I've changed the entire theme here. But now that I have this theme in here, I can then now save this theme, how, you know, we, we save save this theme as a JSON, the, the JSON file, right? The JSON file is or can be saved and I can, um, you know, I could say, you know, new, um, new light pink theme, something like that. And the JSON file will be saved. Okay, and then you can reuse it over and over again. Okay, so this is how you can set up, um, th th that is my one example of like how you actually transfer this into Power BI. But now if I wanna go into other themes, because um, remember that theme was saved into my documents here, but I can create themes in different ways with my colors as well. So what I can do is I can come in here and I can find an image. So let's see if I can find an image here. Um, and this is a way to to extract a color theme from your current reports, for example. So I'm just so you see here that I've literally taken an image of a report, I've placed it into the upload your image, and then all of a sudden I now have all of their colors 
which are associated to this particular um, theme, right? And then I can save this theme and I can say, you know, blue and gray um, shades, something something like this. I can then change it, um, change it. And I'm gonna save it as a community document this time. Uh, just to show you so now that i've saved it as a community document it still appears in my personal documents but also in my community documents as well in the community documents as well now so others can utilize this really really easily and then i can say click into it and then i can you know quickly use utilize this thing okay then also you can copy this theme like say say you want to you you like this theme you can really easily copy it and then go through exactly the same process that i just did by transferring it into your model by using customized theme like that okay now last option we have is a different way to create a color palette and so what you can do here is you can change a couple of things so you can have a different amount of colors um, and you see here that there's just a lot more variation on the colors. So maybe this is how you want to try try things and you can change the color gap. If you have a lower color gap, you'll see that um, you'll see that I think there's a bit there's a sort of a bigger difference between the colors rather than if you have a higher color gap, you'll see that the colors are all quite similar. What you can also do is you can put a, a color in here um, as sort of your base color, right? And you can work off that base color. So say you had a color that you liked in another application and you wanted to use that as your base color. So what you could do here is this. So I could come in here, maybe I like this color right here. I'm gonna come back into my apps. I'm gonna go color theme generator, come in here. I'm gonna change this particular color, okay? I'm gonna lock it and then I'm gonna find, oh, that didn't lock, that didn't lock, sorry. Okay, so let's see. So I'm gonna find colors now which are associated to that shade, right? And then we can have a play around with colors like this and see and see what the color thing comes up with. And again, you've got all of the options to copy, copy the hex code. Okay, so you'll also um, find within the community or within your personal documents, you'll find lots of other color themes. And so say you like a color theme here, you know, you can click into it. And again, you can um, utilize the analyst hubs um, features by copying this particular color theme into your own and then all of a sudden it'll be in your personal documents and then you'll be able to have a quickly access it and access the details um, and put place them into your own models okay so that's the color theme generator um, you know lots of ways you can utilize that so really dive into it um, you know it's going to be uh, really valuable if you want to get consistency you know for your own development but also across uh, across your teams and um, across your organization with your um, with your colors.